Hey guys, Quinn here. Today I have a box of pennies that I presume to be all 2021. You can see here, I've been trying to get pennies from a couple different banks and a few of the times that I've gotten them, a whole bunch of them have been 2021. So basically everything in here, if I just grab five rolls as a sample here, is brand new 2021. Of course, those are all shields, so you can't see, but right there you can see 2021s. I think these are mostly gonna be 2021s. The thing that we could be on the lookout for is a blank planchet, and we'd be in a unique position to actually know uh, the year that was intended for that blank planchet. So in case that does happen today, I wanna be able to capture it on camera. And I've also heard of people finding Indian heads in situations like this. So uh, if nothing happens, I probably won't post this, but if you do see this, just know that something probably happened. So uh, we are gonna go ahead and get into these now and see what we can find. All right, here we go, breaking into roll number one. Let's see what we can get. Yep, that looks pretty brand new to me. Let's dump them out anyway. All right, so that first roll completely 2021s. I just realized I should probably go grab a glove uh, just in case, because even though these haven't really been touched by too many people, they have been through the minting process that uh, can definitely make them dirty. You can see not all of these coins, even though they are sparkling, shiny, and nice looking, uh, they still have some little spots and specks on them. So I don't know. Let's get on to the next one and see what else we can get. Okay, there we go. So that's what I was talking about, guys. You can see that not every coin in here is going to be brand new. We have on our third roll two copper looking coins right there everything else looking brand new and shiny that'd be really nice to get a wheat penny here so that's an 84 that's not even copper even though it looked like it might be what's this one going to be that's a 1980 so that's our first copper coin uh, out of the box so far all right there we go with a few more older looking coins let's see what they're going to be one's an 84 once again. How about this one over here? Looks like it could be older. Yeah, it looks a little older there. What's that going to be? 62. So getting back there, we may end up finding a wheat penny out of here. Who knows? Okay, got a couple more uh, older looking coins here. Let's see what these are going to be. 2016. I guess anything would look old next to these brand new shiny pennies, eh? 71 Denver, nice copper coin right there. The rest of them look brand new. Oh, we got three on this roll, it looks like. Maybe just two. What do we have there? 95 over here. Looks like it's gonna be copper at least. 64 getting back there. What was the other one? Thought I saw another one in here, maybe this one? Yep, 2016. Well, would you look at that roll? This one looks like it might be older, at least the oldest out of all the ones I see here. Let's take a look. Ah, Memorial. 69 though, that's getting back there. It'd be nice if it was a double die 69 San Francisco, but nope, not gonna be. There's a 2007, what do we have over here? 2001, and I think that is about it. Oh, there's a 2018, so that doesn't belong in there either. All right. And there's a nice copper looking edge. Take a look at that one. Oh, don't want to drop the entire roll here. Yeah. That looks nice. Hopefully that go, that'll be a wee penny. That'd be nice. Oh, we got a Canadian. Check that out. So yeah, I guess you never know what you're going to find. 1975. Pretty nice looking coin as well. There's the obverse for you. Nice. So we got a little bit of variety going on here. Now that's a nice thick copper edge right there. Definitely like to see that. Let's see what that one's gonna be. If it'll ever come out for us. Yeah, copper for sure. Pretty nice looking coin too, 1973 with a little bit of toning on it as well. 
I will definitely pull that one out. Looks like we got one more over here. What's that one gonna be? 2005 with a big old thumbprint down there. All right, we'll keep looking. Wow, look at that roll. That's the first one I've seen with five plus different looking coins. Let's see what we got right here. 1980, nice copper. What about this darker looking one? This is interesting. Okay, what is that gonna be? Yeah, 2003, all right. How about this one? Also pretty dark looking. Probably gonna be a copper. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's see what that one's gonna be. 1982 Denver, just barely made it. And then we got a few more here I'll pull out. I don't think they're anything interesting. Whoa, look at that roll. It's got some nice uh, darker edges on there. I think these, this one here in the middle and then maybe the one on the left have decent chances of being copper at least. Let's see what this one's gonna be. No, no copper on that, 1995. This one has to be, it's just got that look to it. No, not even that one, 1985. All right, well, let's see what these other ones are gonna be. There's an 88, another zinc. And here we have a 99. All right, what do we got here? Man, focus. Yeah, I like the look of these ones. Again, on that right side, I can already see it's gonna be a memorial, but it might be a copper. Ah, having a hard time getting it out of there. 73, all right, there's a copper. This one in the middle also looks to be copper. Yes, 1981. And we got a couple more here. So this is what a whole bunch of brand new shiny 2021 Philadelphia pennies looks like. And this is what it looks like going into the dump box. Oh man, look at all those. Now I know guys, there are, I believe, some errors to look for on that coin. I'm not too privy on what those are, and I'm also not too interested in looking for them. Uh, but let me know if uh, you know of something I should be looking for uh, in those coins because I can keep them over there and maybe go back and look uh, through them at some other time. Uh, this roll looks like it's just got one, and it's a 2015 Denver. I haven't seen any blank planchets yet, otherwise I would definitely let you guys know. That's what we're looking for really today, but uh, I haven't had any luck with it yet, and we are a little bit over halfway through the box now. So I'll keep going here and see if uh, we can get something. Let me just check this roll real quick. Yeah, that one's got some uh, different coins in it. I don't think these are gonna be copper, but definitely different. There's one there. And over here, what's this one gonna be? 2015. All right, so yeah, I'm separating these out by copper and zinc, and I will be showing you guys the results at the end. So we'll keep going. Ooh, two nice uh, copper looking coins right there. I think these are gonna be copper. Ah, oh, come on. One year off right there, 1983. And what about this one right here? Ooh, getting older. 1963 right there. Very close to getting a wheat penny. We're about 10, uh, 10 rolls left here. I hope that we can get one out before the box is over. Still haven't found a blank planchet yet. Now those are a couple of copper looking coins right there. 78 is definitely copper. And here we have 82, definitely a copper one there. You can tell by the way that it looks. Just that darker tone to it, a little bit heftier. 2016, almost missed that. And there we have a couple more nice copper looking coins almost right next to each other. Let's see what this first one's gonna be. 1981, that's definitely copper. And how about this one? Looks a little corroded. 73, okay, another copper, still no weeds. Oh, interesting roll here. Got some darker ones there. This one looks like it could definitely be older, guys. Look at this. Oh, I see the memorial back already. But what's the year gonna be? 78, so we've got another copper. Lots of copper coming out for us uh, 
down here at the end of the box, there's a 91. That's zinc. This is disgusting, 2014. And this is a 76, another copper right there. Promising looking roll right here. Let's see what this is gonna be. Oh, guys, look at that. Can you believe it? A bird scent. 1967 Canadian penny right there in this weird box full of almost entirely 2021 Philadelphia American pennies. We got a 1967 bird scent. One of my favorite coins to find right there. And uh, just came out almost at the end of the box. That is a nice find. I'm really happy with that. I think that that definitely makes this uh, worthy of posting whatever this video ends up being. What's this one gonna be? 88, okay, we got two more over here to take a look at. First off, 1991, that's gonna be zinc. And finally, a 1978 Denver, all right. So this is definitely the find of the box so far, probably gonna end up being the find of the box in general. But we got a few more rolls to go through. Maybe we'll pull out the uh, blank planchet here. We'll just have to keep going and see. Oh, this looks promising. Some nice uh, copper edges here. That one is 1980, so that's a copper. This one also looks like it may be, yep, 78. Seems like those are coming out quite a bit. There's an 89, and it looks like we got one more here. Oh, that's a nice shiny coin right there. 89, okay. One of the nicer looking uh, non-2021 pennies out so far. Okay, interesting. Okay, I see about five interesting coins here. Ooh, getting back there on that one right there. 67, just about. About 10 more uh, years would have been nice on that one. This one's a 77. How about over here? 83, okay. 2018. And I think there's one more possibility here. There, it's a 2019. All right, we'll keep moving through these rolls here. And oh, there's a 2021 Denver. That's the first one I've seen of that. So that's not supposed to be there for sure. All right, guys, here we go. Last roll. It's our last chance at finding a uh, wheat penny or Indian head penny, something like that, or a blank planchet. Uh, looks like we are going to get some chances on this roll, at least. I think the only one that is semi reasonable would be this one right here because it looks like it might be copper. Let's pull that one out first and see what we're going to get. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? 1959 comes out right on the last roll. That is literally one year off, as you can see, from being a wheat penny. They ended in 58. Let's just flip this over and see if we can get a wheat back and get ourselves a mule scent. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, no. So it's going to be a 59. Still cool to come out right at the end. That is the oldest coin by far uh, that has come out of these rolls. Now, I think I saw there's a 2012 right there. Uh, there's a 2008 right there. It would have been cool if we could have got a 2009 because those are a little bit more difficult to find. And uh, as far as the rest of these coins go, like I said, have not been able to pull out a blank planchet like I was hoping for, but that's okay. This is kind of where we are ending up, so I'll just show you real quick here. I got a whole bunch of brand new 2021 pennies right here. Let's dump these into uh, our dump box. And uh, let me just show you what we kind of ended up with here at the end. So this is our pile of copper coins, probably about half a roll worth uh, right there. These are, these are our zincs. So these are gonna be uh, post 1982, probably a roll, maybe a roll and a half there. And we got a couple of Canadians as well. And uh, one of them ended up being one of my favorites to find the bird scent. This is a 75, looking pretty nice. And there is our bird scent. So as you can see, guys, I know a lot of times you guys will ask me, what do I do when I get a brand new box of coins that all looks to be the same date? Well, my answer to that is you hunt them because you never know what you're going to find. I definitely had a lot of good chances to find some old stuff here today. Uh, found some interesting stuff for sure and uh, definitely a few keepers here and there. So uh, yeah, that is my answer to that question, guys. 
Let me know, of course, if you want me to go through the rest of these, if there's anything I should be looking for, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. And I may just have to go back and look for it. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this quick video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week, always bringing you along with the hunts and having a good time. This may end up being an extra video. We'll just have to wait and see. But as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coin signing out. And I will see you in the next one. Fly away. Woo.